anti-imperialism got a further huge boost after 9-11 and the so-called war on terror. The assumption on a lot of the radical left, and not only the radical left, was that if anyone was attacking the United States, they must have a good reason for doing so. Which, of course, is that they were fighting American imperialism. If they were anti-Semitic too, which they were openly, then obviously their anti-Semitism too must have a good reason, which was that Israel was the tool of American imperialism, or indeed vice versa. The result was that anti-Zionism actually became key, central to it, to this anti-imperialism, which has rightly been called by the late Moshe Postoni, the anti-imperialism of fools. Now, the notion that Zionism was racism didn't, of course, emerge from nowhere. It came from the Soviet Union, which had a long history, which is largely unknown on the left or largely forgotten about today, of anti-Semitism. And I know that Isabel Tarkovsky will speak more about that later today. But the key point for me here is that Soviet anti-Zionist anti-Semitism has been adopted lot, stop, and barrel by a significant section of the contemporary left, including, ironically, Trotsky. And not just by the radical left. It now passes for common sense among many who, in many other respects, are not actually that radical, even among many liberals. 